Hello, this is a Nacy Fix production. All things relating to this video can be found in the video description, so be sure to check there. All inquiries can be sent to nacyfix at hotmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Hello, YouTube. It is Monday, June 23rd, 2008. It's a hot day outside, and I'd like to present you with something else to speed up your internet in general. I remember I have made two videos. One was just, you know, text, uh, me writing on a WordPad document uh, that was extremely long about uh, speeding up your internet. I made a somewhat shorter video with more methods in it for Firefox 2.0. Please note that the first method and uh, all the other mes methods that I um, made videos about do work in Firefox 3.0, so you can just uh, put them, integrate them back into Firefox once you download Firefox 3. The link to Firefox 3 is in the description. However, you do not need Firefox for what I am about to present you with. What I'm going to show you is called Google Web Accelerator. Google Web Accelerator uses various strategies to make your web pages load faster, including sending your page requests through Google machines dedicated to handling Google. Google? I said Google. Google Web Accelerator traffic. Storing copies of frequently looked at pages to make them quickly accessible. Downloading only the updates if a web page has changed slightly since you last viewed it. Prefetching certain pages onto your computer in advance. Managing your internet connection to reduce delays and compressing data before sending it to your computer. I uh, showed you something uh, similar uh, in my second Speed Up Firefox video called Faster Fox. Faster Fox works in the same way, except um, it can cause problems uh, on uh, certain people's web pages because it is more demanding. When you use Faster Fox, you are demanding more resources from the website you are about to view, which can be annoying to the, the people who own the website, the webmaster, and they can even block you from using their website even if you've never even been there because they can tell if you're using faster fox or not and also faster fox is only uh, compatible with firefox and i believe it's not even compatible with three uh, firefox 3.0 and to make matters worse some people says say it makes firefox slower so i have stopped using faster fox and um, if you have downloaded it uh... because i uh... instructed you to in one of my last videos, uh, speed up Firefox many times faster. I recommend you disable it, get rid of it, and get Google Web Accelerator. It turns out that uh, while you can run Google Web Accelerator on other uh, browsers besides Internet Explorer Firefox, you can. You just have to uh, do a little uh, adjusting with your browser or your proxy settings. and. If you are using Safari or Opera, the link is in the description to the help page about Google Web Accelerator, uh, so you can be instructed on how to do that. Uh, I've been using it for a little bit, and it's spe sped up the connection uh, a little bit. Not, not hugely, but it has a little bit. Uh, you can download Google Web Accelerator by typing the name in Google, or you can uh, check out the link from the description in the description. It's free and it speeds up your internet and it uh, isn't really blocked like faster fuck. So if you want a faster web browser I recommend you download Google Web Accelerator. The link is in the description as well as the link to Firefox 3.0 and a link to both of my other videos about Firefox. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.